Hi everyone, welcome to GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. The topic which we are going to discuss is introduction to lines and angles. So in this video of GTEC, we will be discussing about line, ray, line segment, collinear points, angle, types of angles, adjacent angles, linear pair of angles, vertically opposite angles followed by intersecting lines and parallel lines. Let's begin with the concept line. A line is a collection of points along a straight path. You can see. A line extends in both the directions and it doesn't have any points. Yes, it is. And a line has no definite length. So this is all about a line. Let's discuss about ray. A part of line with one end point is said to be called as a ray. So you can see a ray over here. When you see about a ray, also see a difference of how the line segment will be. Because line segment is nothing but it's a part of line with two end points. There is only one line segment joining the two given points. So this is a point and this is a point. So this is a line segment. Now let's see about the collinear points. All the points that lie on the same line are said to be called as collinear points. Here you can see there are totally 5 collinear points. So these are the points that lie on the same line. Now let's discuss about angle. The short and plus definition of an angle is that two rays originating from the same end point it forms an angle. So you can see the two ray. So here A, B is one ray and A, C is other ray. So these two rays originating from the same end point. Here the end point is A. It forms an angle. Consider the two rays that is A, B and A, C which we have seen and discussed now. And over here we must have a point that B, A, C forms an angle as well as C, A, B forms again an angle. In terms of angle, the rays that form the angle are said to be called as arm of an angle. You can see here. The end point is called the vertex of an angle. Over here, this is the vertex. For this one, A is the vertex. The size of an angle is measured in degrees. So here, we have an example as 40 degree. So the indication of the degree will be like this. Now let's discuss about types of angles. So there are totally, if you see, acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle, reflex angle and full angle. Let's discuss about this one. The first one is acute angle. Angles measuring less than 90 degree but more than 0 degree are called as acute angles. So we must have this in mind. If you see about right angle, an angle measuring 90 degree is called as right angle. A right angle is formed by the intersection of two perpendicular lines. That is nothing but a straight line. The next one is obtuse angle. Angles measuring greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree are called as obtuse angle. 
Now let's move on to straight angle. An angle measuring 180 degree is called as straight angle. Now let's see about adjacent angles. If you see about this one, two angles are said to be called as adjacent if they have the common arm and a common vertex. So you can see B is the common vertex and for both the angles it has A, B, C and C, B, D. So for both it has a common arm. So this is all about adjacent angles. Now let's discuss about linear pair of angles. If you consider linear pair of angles, it's nothing but if two adjacent angles are said to form a linear pair if their sum is 180 degree. Non-common arms of the linear pair of angles tends to form a straight line. The complementary and supplementary angles may not or may be adjacent angles at some cases. Now let's discuss about the vertically opposite angles. So the vertically opposite angles are nothing but when two lines intersect, four angles are formed. You can see here, here the two lines, when it tends to intersect, it forms four angles. So the angles that are opposite to each other are called vertically opposite angles. Here 1, 3 are vertically opposite angles, 2, 4 are vertically opposite angles. There are two pairs of vertically opposite angles over here. That is angle 1 which is equals to angle 3 and angle 2 that is equals to angle 4. Now let's discuss about complementary angles. Two angles are said to be complementary if their sum is 90 degree. If you see about supplementary angle, two angles are said to be supplement if their sum is 180 degree. So if it's 90, it's complementary. If it's 180, it's supplementary angle. Now let's discuss about intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are if two or more lines that meet at one point then it is called as intersecting lines. When two lines intersect each other then the vertically opposite angles are equal. So the sum of all angles formed at a point is 360 degree. If you see about parallel lines Parallel lines are nothing but the lines that are on the same line but that never intersect at any case. This is called as parallel lines. You can see how the parallel line will be. Let's see some examples. In a figure, we will be having angle that is angle P, Q, R. So angle P, Q and R. Angle P, Q, R is equal to angle P, R, Q. Then we got to prove that angle P, Q, S equal to angle P, R, T. That is angle P, Q, S equals to angle P, R, T. Let's go with the solution. The solution is that angle PQS plus angle PQR. So PQ, PQS, PQR which is equals to 180 degree as per the linear paraxium. So this is the consideration of equation 1.
according to linear paraxiom. If see about angle P R Q plus angle P R T which will be equals to 180 degree. This as well as per the logic of linear pair axiom. But as per the question it is given that angle P Q are equal to angle P R Q. From the given equation which has been got over here we can prove that angle P Q S equal to angle P R T. Hence, as per the linear paraxiom, this has been proved by the statement. Let's see the other example. In a figure, if x plus y equal to w plus z, then we got to prove that a O B is a line. So this A O B is a line. Let's go with the solution in order to prove. We got to assume that A O B is a line. Therefore, we can say X plus Y equal to 180 degree. Which is equation 1. In a similar way, W plus Z. Since it's in a straight line, we can mention it as 180. So, W plus Z equal to 180 degree. From 1 and 2, we can mention X plus Y equal to W plus Z. That is 180 degree. Hence, our assumption is right. So, A, O, B is a line which has been proved. Let's see another example. In the figure, P, O, Q is a line. So, this P O Q is a line. Ray O R. So, this one is perpendicular to line P Q. O S. So, this one is O S. Is another ray line between rays O P and O R. Yes. So, we got to prove that angle R O S equal to half of angle Q O S minus angle P O S. The solution is that angle ROS equal to angle ROP minus angle POS. So ROS equal to ROP minus POS. And the second equation is that angle ROS equals to angle Q O S minus angle Q O R. By adding 1 and 2, we will be getting since on the LHS that is on the left hand side we have R O S plus R O S we can mention 2 R O S that is 2 times of R O S. In the right hand side we have Q O S minus Q O R that is the from the equation 2 they have mentioned we are adding up so we need to add angle ROP minus POS so by left hand side we have 2 times of ROS and angle QOS minus angle POS that is this one and this one From here we can say that angle QOR equal to angle ROP that is equal to 90 degree. Hence we can simply mention that if this 2 comes by this side it's nothing but half. It's a kind of reciprocal. So angle ROS equal to half of angle QOS minus POS which has been proved. Hope you got an idea of how the lines and angles. Thank you for watching this from GTEC.